And welcome to another edition of FTW Wrestling. This is the first round of our Women's Wrestling Tournament as we have a couple of newcomers here at FTW. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I recognize these two. Yeah, it's Tina La Mariposa from Dead or Alive. Wow. Oh, yeah. Pretty exciting to have these One of my favorite here. fighting games. Oh, that's good. It kind of uh, reminds me of a cross between uh, Virtual Fighter and Tekken, I think. Out yeah, place. yeah. Well, they got their they got Virtual Fighter guests in the new game, so. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. They real. got um, what's it, Akira, Pi, and um, Sarah Bryant. Yep. Uh, so this is a pretty pretty great to see these two ladies here. You know, Tina is my favorite Dead or Alive character, and not for the reasons all of you at home are thinking. I actually like Tina because she has really cool wrestling moves in the video game. She's one of the better uh, better grapplers in the game, aside yeah. from uh, I think it goes. Boston, or I think, I think uh, what's his name? Bayman. Oh, Bayman? Yeah. yeah, Bayman's pretty interesting, but I think, I think Tina's the coolest, because she does, like, the pile driver, and the, you know, all those duplexes, spine busters, mm -hmm. and she's a, I think she's a lot of fun to play She's the combos, too. Yeah, you can, like, combo into some combo gra grapples. <laughs> combo, launch someone, then grab them in the Yeah, air. it's almost, uh, it's almost as fun as playing Clark in King of Fighters. Yeah. You know, on that level. Anyways, uh, you know, we should talk about these two here, Lita and Trish yeah, Stratus. Trish Stratus, two women's, four women's champions. Yeah, legends of women's wrestling. You know, Trish Stratus is just going to be a mom soon. Oh, is she? She's going to... Yeah, she's going uh, to have a little Stratus faction, so she said at the uh, oh. the Hall of Fame thing, she said. Oh, so well, congratulations to uh, Trish Stratus. Yeah. She probably shouldn't be here then. <laughs> of course, this may have been uh, recorded before that happened. Oh, yeah. This, of course, you know, is video game land. Right? Yeah. You know, these are video game this characters. This is 19, like, two, like two, year 2000, Trish Stratus. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, that's what it looks like. You like know, year 2004, Lita. <laughs> yeah, this is Lita from the uh, Rated R Superstar yeah. era. You know, when um, she and Edge had, you know, their fun. Oh, yeah. Wow. You know, you have the, you think of Edge in those feuds with John Cena and whatnot. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I think probably the funniest part of that is, wow, what a dropkick oh, by Tina. Yeah. I think the funniest part of that was when Led Edge was going to have that live sex celebration in the ring. Oh, I remember <laughs> wow. that. Boy, you would never see something like that oh, in the no. WWE these not days. Not anymore, right? anyway. I mean, not, not that, you know, not that that was what I wanted to see, but my I mean, point being is, ooh, look as at outrageous that. outrageous as that was, you won't see that ever again. Yeah, you, never, you, you won't see anything that outrageous. It's a bunch of stupid cornball crap that... Centers on making, you know, building up the forever heroes. Yep. And I yep. have kind of a feeling that this whole thing with Ryback and John Cena is going to ruin Ryback's character because they're too afraid to put anybody over Cena, not named The Rock, is yeah. a nice exchange there by Lita and Trish. I think uh, I mean, Lita, they, uh, I, think they, I think they tried to do that when Brock Lesnar came back and it didn't really happen to doing it with Triple H now. So it's like, I kind of thought when Brock Lesnar came back, when he F5 John Cena, that it was going to be him and Cena feuding for a while, and it yeah. only happened once at one match at Extreme Rules. That was it, and yeah. the rest of the time, it's been SummerSlam, Triple H, and then Triple H, um, whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean WrestleMania, uh, Triple H, and then again in like three weeks at Extreme Rules again. Yeah. Um, Brock Lesnar, Triple H. It's like I would rather have like Brock Lesnar versus Cena because it's kind of right when he said back when he f five him if. Uh, Brock Lesnar didn't leave the WWF or WWE back in the day. Back in 2002, John Cena wouldn't be the character that he is. He wouldn't be as big as he is today. Yeah, that's probably right. Anyways, um, you know, we need to get back in action on this match here as we've seen several exchanges, several pin attempts. Now a lot of Mariposa in the ring. Let's see. Oh, wow. Kicks in the her nice prana there. Yeah, nice series of moves there by Alain Mariposa. But, yeah, I agree with you. They probably should have concentrated more on the Cena and Lesnar feud. But, oh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know what they're thinking in there. You know, we need to... It's all... You know, we need a, to not let... Was, I think what, Billy Kidman is a writer now for them or something like that? I don't know what the deal is, but... I mean, we need to think about more what's going on here. You know, this is a pretty good match between these two, uh, all these ladies here, with uh, Alain Mariposa and Trish Stratus in the ring now. Taking a minute to dance there. I don't know about La Mariposa gyrating like that. I don't know if that's a good idea against no, Trish. Not that, no, not that. No. She now she's a face buster. Wait, what do you what do you think of La Mariposa in uh, Dead or Alive now? As she uh, sends Trish into the second rope. Um, I never really picked her up as a character to play with in DOA the game. I mean, she's new since four to the uh, DOA four. So I mean, from what I played, I think she, oh, she's for a DDT. decent rushdown character. Yeah, nice. Uh, a lot of mix up potential. 
Nice to DDT there. Wow. She's got a lot, of, a lot of low, and then she can grab you like, um, uh, she's like a really low grab. She grabs your foot. So it can be like unexpected. It's a lot of mix up game with her, I think. Well, I mean, that's kind of like Lucha Libre as a real. I think yeah. she's a good Lucha Libre character, too. Kind of like, a, it was another good Lucha Libre character is Ramon in King of Fighters. And, oh, yeah. You know, if they make another one, it'd be cool to see him return. Yeah. Then, you know, I don't know how that guy in uh, Virtual Fighter was. I forgot what his name was. I don't know. I don't, not a huge fan. I played the new one, Virtual Fighter Five, the Showdown, whatever it is. The one that just came out for, the one that not just came out, but it's yeah, out know, for download on Xbox Live and PSN. The updated version of Virtual Fighter Five, but I don't. I haven't played him, so yeah, I don't know how he is. Yeah, if you know how he is, leave a comment. I he mean, plays, uh, it's not like it's not, I don't think he plays like King from Tekken or anything. Yeah, King's another pretty cool Lucha Libre character. You know who's not a cool Lucha Libre character is El Fuerte. Uh, no, he's a joke. He's, uh, he's annoying and a uh, pretty bad stereo. Where's the pin? Too. Oh, yeah, nice uh, nice call there, Lita Karana. Oh, kick out after two. And I kind of feel like Lita is kind of dominating La Mary oh, at this yeah. point. She probably... Oh, DDT. Ooh. Wow. What an emphatic DDT. He's hitting a shockwave up the neck and spine of La Mary I don't know if it's wise of Lita to taunt like that. I mean, this could give her time to get... Yep. I guess like she I thought said, she wasn't going to hit that, maybe. <laughs> I guess not. Or maybe, you know, she thought she was going to go for the lead us moonsault and yeah. decided not to. But now things are not quite working in her favor. Oh, wow. wow. Nice uh, double team move there by uh, Lee, Tina and La Mariposa. A lot of L's and T's in this match. Yeah. Seen, you know, giving me a little bit of a tongue twister here. Yeah, you know, just. Uh, Tina, Trish. Anyways. Lita, uh, La Oh, nice counter there by Lita, and she's going to go for the twist Ooh, of fate. That might be wow, it. Wow, yeah. that might be it. And I think uh, Le Tina did not see that coming. This could be it. Referee going for the count. Ooh. Oh, he slid in there. He was right. Uh, he uh, <laughs> took him a while to slid in there. Oh, that a nice like. kick to the gut there. Yeah, nice spin kick. Ooh. Oh, big boots. You know, I don't um, I think El Fuerte is a pretty annoying character as uh, Tina or Lita with a nice counter. Yep. You know, I noticed that boot is probably something she got from her dad because. That's yeah. a big ass boot move in there. Oh, we see it again. Oh, another yeah. one. He has a big boot move in the in DOA. So yeah, you know they're both wrestlers, so it's yeah. no surprising. Oh, no, oh, look at this! I think uh -oh. she's gonna go for that pile. Oh, Ooh. the pile driver! Wow, did you see that? That might be it for Lita. I think that is definitely it. Nobody kicks out of the pile driver. Oh, no. I mean, that's you know. I think Lita is probably unconscious at this yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was. Uh, <laughs> That was really, really good. You no, know, normally in wrestling, if you get the pile driver, it's over. Even for the most part, yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, La Tina La Mariposa, as we well, see the replay. Yeah, vicious big boot and the uh, pile driver again. Anyway, these two will advance to the next round, and I think they are going to face Jury and Morgan. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please like this video, subscribe, leave a comment. Yeah, and uh. I guess you guys can check out my channel too. Monster, yeah, Monster Gaming. Gaming, check it out in the description and the link below. Link in the description below. Thanks.